Mm. <laughs> Let me try. No, what? No, you gotta go ahead. We're already shooting the video. Hey YouTube, Dan with CultureView.com and Hoppy McCopperson over here. <laughs> and no, don't don't do that. Don't do that. I told you if you were, uh, if you played your cards right, you get to see my storage shed. And here it is. It's actually really dark, and that's in honor of it being Halloween when this video comes out. So I figured it, we'd make it a little spooky. Boo. Boo. Pay attention. But it's... No! Oh. But it's really not that dark. It's actually the middle of the day. No! So we'll get serious and I'll show you what we're doing today. It's spooky. Okay, so here's what we got going on. We are, as I mentioned from the last video, we're going to foliar feed our plants and trees and whatever else I have enough of this stuff for. Now you're supposed to mix all this stuff with a, uh, you know, like a big spray squirter, but all I've got is this because it was a lot cheaper than a $20, you know, decent sprayer. So I'll just do a small batch and see how this goes. What we're working with today is some things I heard about on the interwebs um, as far as stuff that's good. You can put this in the soil too, but you can also, you know, spray it on the on the plant's leaves and stuff. So this is Gary Juice Plus. This is a like a good mix of a compost tea and molasses and liquid seaweed are the main ingredients. So this is really good. This is liquid kelp. There's a little bit of this in this also. And then this is um, prim Dr. Earth Premium Gold fertilizer, basically. So this is a good organic fertilizer. So uh, we'll get all this stuff mixed up, hopefully in the right ratios, because I've never done this before. But then we'll spray it on some of the plants and go. Okay, here's what it looks like. We can get it in the sun. I had no expectations about this, but uh, this stuff doesn't smell good. That's my first impression. So I think it's a little late uh, for this to make a difference for this big kale. But who cares? This is one of the watermelon radish. I do know that's what I planted over here. So, look how big that is. That's cool. Let's see if that makes it. It's late October, obviously, because this, this is getting released on Halloween. Look at that rabbit. He's eating that whole thing. What a jerk. So it's the end of October, obviously, and uh, uh, it's getting really chilly. Like I kept saying earlier, like a month or two ago, it's like really, really warm. Uh, and now it is in like the, well today it's in the, I think the low 40s maybe, maybe mid 40s right now. So it's getting down to the high 20s, low 30s at night. But besides rabbits, the kale doesn't care, like the honey badger. Now the real reason that I did this, or I wanted to get this done, is for these trees, because these things need a little bit of help. And they don't have that many leaves in the first place. So the goal will be for them to take up some of these nutrients and then sock them away if I can get up there into their roots for the winter and then they should come back pretty good in the spring. This one's these leaves might be on their last legs for this year.
but I think what I'll do beginning of next year is just hit these really well with uh, I'll just douse the ground with all this stuff too and that should help I mean, look at this this is a $20 tree that I got for five bucks I'm still tickled pink about that one At least they still have all their leaves. And I keep spraying myself. So I think all the apples are going to be growing on these things. They don't, this doesn't have like branches. Oh, uh, where's the picture? See? This is dripping wet now. They just grow there so this one's they're all bare that's like how they grow so that'll be really cool here's one of the the monster blueberries or blackberries here's that big i don't know what this thing is oh who's that no don't do that there go the geese holy crap that's a lot of them There's a lot of geese. No, don't do that. All right, anyway. Now look at this comfrey. This one's doing pretty good. As of the last video, I think I mentioned it was looking kind of sad. But all of a sudden, it like right after that video, it like must have heard me or something. Because now it's doing pretty good. So, that's nice. I have to mention, by the way, since it's getting cold out, they're not going to be able to grow much outside. Besides the worm bin, I don't have a lot of other, uh, uh, like, backyard improvement projects planned over the, uh, over the winter. So I'm going to be doing more, like, inside type projects, so I'm, I'll be switching gears. I'm not going to tell you what those are going to be until I actually make some progress on them and have some intelligible updates to give you so i think we'll stop for there if i could get into the light the right way and this has been foliar feeding all my plants and I, this actually went a long way i'm surprised i thought i was gonna have to mix some mix up some more but i didn't but anyway thank you for watching and we will uh, keep you updated if this works so check out culturereview.com if you want to see everything else i'm doing and until then thank you for watching